So now I'm going to put this in the oven at 425 degrees for 10 minutes. And then when it comes out, it looks like this. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Give it a little shake. You can see it's not sticking and it's a little bit crusty. In this skillet, I melted some butter. And I'm going to scramble our eggs. The important thing to know about this is you're going to do a super soft scramble. And the reason for this is that you don't want to have hard overcooked eggs on your pizza. Nobody wants that. So you can see here, it still looks just a little bit wet. And that's exactly what you want. It has nice little curvilage going on there. So I'm going to take it off the heat because we don't want to overcook it. Now comes the gravy. Oh, yeah. This is bacon gravy. It's a southern staple. It's made out of bacon drippings, flour, salt, pepper, and milk. And if you look, you will see this silken awesomeness right there. No lumps. None at all. So we're going to spread this around in a set of pizza sauce. We're using breakfast gravy. I also have another link, not a link, but I also have another video that shows you exactly how to make bacon gravy. It's foolproof. And it's, you know, my kids' favorite. They love it because it's so dang good. Next, I'm going to put just a little, little sprinkling of cheese, just a little bit. But then we're going to move on to the good stuff. So, we are going to add an entire pound of crumbled up cooked breakfast sausage. Today I'm using spicy, but you can use any breakfast sausage that you want. You can even use links. Just cook, cook them first, slice them, and put them on there. That will be good as well. Now you can see I'm very meticulous. I like to get the toppings evenly distributed throughout the entire pizza, and I'm not happy until I do. So, that's what I'm doing. And we're going to use, like I said, the whole pound that I've already cooked and drained. And now comes those soft eggs. They're still super soft, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop them up so that they're fine and easier to put around the pizza. Because once again, I like to be meticulous and put my toppings so that they're evenly spread throughout. This is so good, y'all. I can't wait for you to try it. Now, I got my eggs all done. They're all in there, almost. Now comes the cheesy part. We're going to add more cheese, just like you would on a regular pizza. Booyah. Cheese. Good stuff. You got to love cheese. I'm using a cheddar jack mix. You can use mild cheddar. You could probably even use mozzarella, but it won't have the same effect. But you know what? Experiment. What the heck? Use uh, any kind of shredded cheese you can find that you like, that is. We're ready for the oven. Oh, there's my dog, Mabel May, hunting up some crumbs. Ain't no crumbs here, Mabel. Get on out the way. So I'm going to put this back in a 425 degree oven for about five minutes or until the cheese melts. And the rest of it gets heated through. Uh-oh, here it is. Folks, I can't even tell you. This breakfast pizza was the bomb diggity. I had some friends and family over, actually just family, and uh, no leftovers. That's all I can say. So slice it like you would any other pizza. Mm, big old pizza wheel. Doesn't that look good? I wish you could smell it. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so uh, once you slice it up, we're going to take a piece out. And look at this. Look how it comes out. This shows you that the crust is not soggy whatsoever. So good. And because I used a whole wheat crust, it is a healthy alternative. I hope you all try this. If you do, let me know. Just give me a thumbs up. Give me the